MTV, what are you doing in my house? Did you get in through the garage door? <laughs> okay, I'm making a sandwich. Would you like one? Sandwich? Thank you. Oh, do you always look like this? What? In the house? Do I look nice though? Good, nice? Uh, well, Fabulous this list, could be the ooh. word. I mean, yeah. Do people look otherwise? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> I don't know how I look in the house. Ah, this Awful. little number, you know, this little number, I mean, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Here's a sandwich. Thank you. Okay, cut. Choke. So, go on the house tour. So, when you get into, I mean, so getting into my house, this is the main entrance. There's no garage entrance. <laughs> Just let me clarify, those were all jokes. So yeah, when you get into the main house, um, main house, when you get into the house to my right is the kitchen area, which um, I have a detailed video on my channel, which I'll link in the description box down below, as well as uh, I'll have it pop up up or juice, just upper, you know i'll have an info card pop up right up here um for the kitchen tour and then to my left we have the bathroom which before you get there we have this wall over here that um i don't know i just thought let's not have negative space i mean ideally i'd like to have like a console of some sort over here where i can put my catch them all but yeah again i'm not done decorating this space <laughs> So yeah, bear with me. This is what it's what it's looking like right now. When I update it, I will I will update you. Sour. Okay. So yeah, I have these two hats up here that uh, serve as a decorative piece as well as function. If I'm to wear a hat, I'd ideally want it over here so that you know just pop it on and leave the house. So yeah, this curtain um, was gifted to me. I have no idea where it's from, so that's that. <laughs> this um, this curtain tie back. I DIY'd. I was just trying some random stuff. I never got around to making the second pair for the window, but it is what it is. Sometimes it be like that. Sometimes, okay, it be like that sometimes. So yeah, um, you will notice in the house I have a sisal theme. The goal was bohemian, kinda sorta. I don't know. I don't know, man. I was just working with what I have, <laughs> and sisal I have in plenty. So DIYs, you'll see a lot of them around. So. For this tour, um, I want us to have it in like different in sections. So I want us to start with the bedroom area, bedroom, <laughs> in the bedroom area, and then we'll have the kitchen area, just an overview. Then I'll take you around to my living room area. Then we'll finish off with the bathroom. Sawa. Okay. So now if you turn. Okay. So we are in the bedroom area, and um, where do we start? We start from here. Okay. So I got this lamp from my beloved brother, Shadrach. Um, Nilienda Kwake, I saw it, I liked it, I told him I liked it, he asked if I could have it, and I was like, yeah! <laughs> and now I have it. Thank God for brothers. Uh, this plant, yeah, it's the, it's the, it's really thriving, I love it for that. Yani, it's growing, but you see, the thing is, it doesn't get really full. Like, every time there's a new, uh, sprouting one, there's one that's dying, I don't know, like, I just I just want a full plant, you know, but here we are. Anyway, so yeah, we have this lamp and then there's like some imaginary demarcation between the uh, bedroom area and the living room area. So there's, there's a demarcation, okay? There's some kind of separation. You just can't see it. I can see it, okay? Anyway, so this is my bed. It's a spring. I, um, I came with it from home. I didn't buy it or anything like that. Um, yeah, I am lucky to have a spring mattress. Uh, yeah, the you guys remember there's a video where I was sharing with you um, that I went to Gekosh and I got uh, sheets and Sabrina Nini in one of the what is it called the challenge video where I was trying to live off a thousand bob for as long as possible. Yeah, these are the sheets that I got. Let me show you. So the duvet cover, the duvet cover is from Gikomba. The sheet inside is from Gikomba, and then this one also is also from this one also is also wow English. This is also from Gikosh, and I think from now henceforth, 
I'm just going to be getting all my white sheets from Dikosh. It's just so convenient, yani. Kuna sasa nimerudi kitanda. Kiri. Wow. Doing the most. Anyway, so yeah, it was very I love it. The cotton inside <laughs> it's 100%. Okay, not 100, maybe not 100%, but it's Egyptian cotton. It feels so good. And then the one at the bottom kabisa has a bit of silk in it. So it's it's really nice. I love my sheets and Gikomba is the place. Gikomba is the plug. So yeah, the other thing that I want you I want you to see is uh this wall decoration over here just over my bed. Um I didn't want anything, you know, too much. The headboard niliacha kwetu. It's just somewhere in my father's house just gathering dust. But yeah, I mean I thought I'd have something that's open so I can always, you know, play around with the positioning and whatnot. Yeah. So uh, this was DIY. I have a video that uh, I will link again Apoju in the info cards or in the description box. Um, yeah. So that's that. A lot of sisal, like I'd mentioned. So again, so okay. This whole area, like this entire wall, I want. This entire wall is actually my bedroom. It just looks like a bedroom. I'd probably just have this in my bedroom anyway. So yeah, over here I have this seat moving from the bed area so the bed is like just over here and then i have this seat over here i got off of uh some facebook shop for it's one of those elms is it e a m a amy's ames ums ums yeah yeah but it was, it's one of those um cute modern looking chairs uh yeah and i just have it over here i thought it would tie in together beautifully Aesthetic, I mean, function-wise, it's really not function functioning well because if I sit down, this this whatever over here, this desk bit over here gets to my knee, so I'm not even as close enough. It's not comfortable to sit and work from over here or even do my makeup from over here. I don't even usually do my makeup from over here. I do it in the bathroom. <laughs> so yeah, this table I I got it from home. I came, I moved out with it, um, and it houses my iron box and just miscellaneous stuff don't 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 over here is just miscellaneous stuff okay don't don't look at that <laughs> anyway so uh on top of over here i have um just the everyday stuff you know extra phone because i'm a dealer you know <laughs> guy i'm joking i'm not a <laughs> guy i'm not but yeah the token thing um i like to i like to have it somewhere where i can see so that i can remember to nini up upload what upload airtime <laughs> upload words token to for electricity this radio is very retro very old i got it from home um i moved out with this it is my entertainment that never sees the light of day i don't know if it still works but yeah we have it here it's a nice decorative piece um this was diy eucalyptus branch from kent mare farm i think and then this one's i just picked off the road it was big branches so i just you know i picked it <laughs> off the road but hey it makes my house beautiful so it don't matter okay <laughs> and then over here i have this mirror this beautiful mirror although cracked i have this beautiful mirror that i diy'd there's a video again i will link it up here <laughs> i'll have it pop up so you can uh, go to the link or even in the i mean and in the description box as well i'll leave um the details and then moving towards this side i have my extra clothing situation and initially i had one that i bought from gim gim the the shopping mall shopping whatever that's supermarket gim and it was so pretty i went for aesthetics i forgot about function you guy you actually bunjika and it was five thousand it, it pained me but this one i got my welder some a guy just near home over here he's really good he's yeah he's good and he's a nice person you get i can get a conversation with him anyway so yeah i had this made for me intentionally i designed it so that um like down here i can keep um extra shoes so it's still looking you know not too crazy you know I just just a little space for extra storage and i wanted some some long place to house my trenches or rather the long jackets and then here i divided into two so i can have more clothes in so now um another secret for storage when living in a small space is 
stuck your clothes inside alafu cover it up so you see ukiangalia here the overview it looks nice and pretty and arranged and whatnot but you know kichukua moja moja there's a lot so yeah and then this thing is so sturdy if you are looking to getting more um storage i mean or rather if you're looking to expand your closet and you live in a small space i recommend you just go to your welder akufanie you know akufanie marble yeah so this is uh, like a small piece <laughs> that was left from the other clothing rack that i got from game and i just pieced it together so it can house my belts and yeah at least it's good for something still you know <laughs> yeah and then so over here i just have my everyday bags just hanging over here um yeah everyday bags in here there's more clothing yes in ile box ya ya high school si quite too but <laughs> this one right here but yeah more clothing and yeah just that's it that's all you get to see okay <laughs> and then um moving on to this side uh i know it's a bit of a mess i'm trying to figure out a storage situation for this space over here I mean, it's not really a mess. I know what's in here. These are just extra bags and whatnot. I'm thinking either like a console kind of a situation where I can just stack them in there and they look nice, or like something else. I have two ideas. Uh, should I? Yeah. Let me. I'll update you once I get this done. I'll update you. So I'm gonna actually do it with you. You know. Got you. Anyway, so now we'll move into the kitchen area. So I mean, I think. It would be redundant for you for me to record um, again a kitchen tour and they, there's already one in my channel so no so I will link it again I'll link it up there if I don't remember to please never just just comment in the section anyway I will link it I promise I will do my best to remember to link but yeah so from the kitchen there's this car space over here and then right behind my couch because we've just moved from the bedroom this way to my kujavi into the kitchen area so yeah so right over here behind my couch this is my couch the green stuff over here is my couch and then i have my makeup over here this is all my stuff and i like to keep them in bags like this so that um it it's just easier for me to pack and go to my clients and also when i'm doing my own makeup i can be diligent to you know cleaning them up and putting them back to into space so it's not everywhere you know because by the way, if I unpack them, they'll just be everywhere. But this helps me to stay, you know, a bit more neat, a bit more organized, you know. And yes, the brushes are due for a clean. I am cleaning them right after this video. Because I think I have clients for Kesho. I'm not sure. They're yet to confirm. So yeah. Um cool. Let's move into the living room area. And uh yeah, yeah, let's move into the living room area. So from here, from the kitchen area. Um, okay, so let me just tell you this. When I'm like hosting, I like to have, I usually clear this space up so I have the food over here. So I have people like, you know, wash their hands, then come in. So they serve, this is how I like to have them serve, like pick a plate, then serve food, you know, and then move into the living room area. Oh, a function. <laughs> you got it on points. <laughs> anyway, so let's go to the living room area. This is basically that this is where i sit this is where i lounge this is where i entertain my guests you know i mean yeah there's not much to do <laughs> i mean there's much to do but this is where it gets done from there's not a lot of places to have this done at so this couch i went for an emerald green couch because i mean why not can not you feel the luxury in it i mean yo hello Cindyo, it just feels luxurious so i had this couch made intentionally without arms because i was going for something um mid-century modern as well as i wanted something deep so that should any of my siblings come to sleep over they can sleep here comfortably without having to worry about you know the headrest things i've slept on a couch before with a headrest and it wasn't the most comfortable thing and i don't have an extra mattress to offer people so this couch serves the purpose so i just get a sheet from um this basket and then i lay it over here and i set them and i set for my guests uh, a place to sleep this is a throw from mr price mr price home uh, <laughs> or rather, nilipewa. 
uh, and then this is you know Masai sugar you can get from everywhere like literally all the Masai market you can get a Masai sugar I have a grey one that's missing yeah yeah it's somewhere I don't know so before I got my carpet um, I used to the intention for this basket this is a carrefour was to was to house my socks so that when my guests come over they they don't get like cold feet you know so yeah i had socks in here and then here i've just added extra okay so my skipping rope is also in here and then i have extra sheets down here for this couch um yeah yeah before i got the carpet so now that i have the carpet uh yeah, they can still wear the socks i mean i don't mind but yeah it, it was it was a bit tiring to have to wash socks all the time because mtakisha ones i'm not rewowing them you know like i'll wash them so i was like you know what to turn more to carpet to turn more to carpet and then buying the carpet the carpet that i got beautiful beautiful carpet but now you see the problem is it's gray na naishi kiambu county vumi but the beautiful thing about it also is that it dries very quickly you come a sponge you just need it's beautiful i've washed it myself about two three times and it hasn't given me a hard time so yeah lovely now next we this tray i got from home but you can also i've seen them at uh, taskies so yeah go to taskies this is a broken cup from one of the uh what do you call them one of those thrift they're not really thrifted but the, those guys who sell uh, utensils from they have like a kibanda to sell utensils and whatnot he had this broken one and i liked it it was gray so <laughs> automatically eucalyptus again i just i got from a fresh from a tree and then it just dried over time same as the baby sprouts i like them like that it gives it a rustic feel which i enjoy so this coffee table e tray it's movable yeah so this tray i got from i got from home it was at home but you can get it from what do you call it taskies or any supermarket i believe and then the legs it's not the most sturdy one this guy aliniangusha this time around but yeah he's a good carpenter i love who i didn't feel the need to call him if it's not all the way broken so yeah and then i had this carpenter uh, make this for me the legs so that you know it just sits i think simple very just simple you know it's small and perfect for my little space yes so now next i want us to move to the um the tv slash i don't know let's just call it a console <laughs> Let's just call it a console so yeah um if you're a tv person this is ideally where you'd have your tv but i'm um, clearly not um like even at home i don't i can count the number of times i have gone downstairs to watch tv it was mostly because the rest of the family was there so i was watching tv with them but i'm not really a tv person but yeah nikki on a laptop i'm good i'm uh, even with my phone actually <laughs> yeah so anyway here i have um bookends that i got from my carpenter i just went to him and said you guy do this no i saw this block of wood at his at his uh, shop when i was getting um i don't know i don't remember what exactly i was getting done but anyway there's this block of wood it was together it was just one big block so i had him cut it and then yeah tip you guy tip so when he gave it to me like that i just came home and sanded it and now i use it as my book end so yeah there we go and then here are just some dried um roses that um i'm now using as uh, my potpourri you know for that kind of nice scent for the home and then here i just have my two highlighters and two notes i write a lot i'm one of those people so uh, it was a quantita books this i have <laughs> i have um this was meant to be a temporary thing to be honest but i mean it's functioning so well i didn't i don't feel the need to go and buy like a proper proper one the idea was to get one of those really thick blocks of wood and just diy my own console uh so this was meant to be like a trial a trial piece just to see how it would look but i jarribika 
it's working okay it's a perfect fit for my space and why not so be sure like if i move out or if i if anything if i move out or get a different console i'm still going for the same concept so it's going to look just about the same just a different kind of wood so yeah i also have a video for when i was attempting to diy this um i'll leave a link <laughs> there's so many links eh, to be left yeah anyway so i eh, some to champagne glasses it's giant champagne but we have champagne glasses amen amen yeah so diy whatever i have a box over here paper punch is what helps prop up this love thingy that i diy and then down here i just have boxes uh storing some other to my miscellaneous things just so everything is out of um sight ideally um at some point i'm gonna spray paint them black or white one of the two but yeah for now <laughs> that's what it's looking like and then here i just have my laptop my laptop is usually on my couch but uh, Leo, Leo my baby gets a new home. And then over here I have just two books where I write everything. I have a planner over here and like calendar and yeah. Here ni vitu za kuandika andika all the time. But yeah. So and then the plant, we're back to the plant. This is my water water tank and okay, so this one just I don't know. The wiring situation it's a bit tricky but uh yeah this one yeah this one sits over here or down there this okay so why i'm comfortable to have it over here next to the water is because this tank the tap is spoiled um it it, it leaks like the, it leaves droplets of water i don't know what happened and brought it to that but yeah i i no longer use it for that and i'm not ready to let go of it i haven't gone around to see if i can get a similar tap so i can replace it but yeah maybe i should yeah i don't know but just not yet i right now i just boil water and put it in the fridge so yeah um i'm not ready to let go of it <laughs> this was one of my first purchases before i even moved out of home um yeah so i just bought it and it was in the house for a while until i decided to move out i knew i wanted this in my house you know <laughs> and so yeah i have it and after topic of can it disappoint it hurts but we move <laughs> So yeah, um, this is my living room area. Um, yeah, now we go to the bathroom area. So moving on to the bathroom area, I have these throw pillows down here that I also got from home. And I love that it has the green, so that went perfectly well with my um, couch. And yeah, so upper, there's a, again, another demarcation between the bathroom area and the living room area. You cannot see it, but I can. This... <laughs> anyway so yeah over here ideally i'd like to have a flower pot this is also diy fyi hey, DIY FYI. <laughs> okay anyway so i'd like to have a, another plant over here i'll probably get the same one as that other one that's flourishing um then down here okay on this table um down here i have another plant this would have been my favorite plant should it have flourish the way i thought it would have um this this is what a peace lily plant the one that blossoms like a white flower and honestly speaking from everyone that has a from everyone that has a peace lily in as much as it's known to be a house plant i don't know of anyone who has had it as a house plant and it flourished my aunt i asked my aunt um she's a proper plant person um but has i don't know maybe climate climate pia has she, she's in ug so now her peace lilies bomb but she also told me she had to move them uh, outside for them to you know get a bit of sun and then she moves back she moves them back in and then evo and another and another evo so yeah i guess this one's peace lily are not house plants let's just they're not house plants so i'm gonna take them out anyway moving on um on this table so down here with the peace lily upper jew i just have a bathroom product um or rather the cleaning products what are these these are what hygiene products so this was um this bottles rather were i got them from the hospital this one time i was in the hospital and um i just got there in time when they were throwing away the what do you call them sanitizer bottles and i like the fact that it had this uh, black nasal this this black pump i liked it 
and I asked if they had more and they did and so I took two one for the soap hand wash and then one for lotion who I'm gonna need more lotion so yeah uh, I have these two over here so it's just quick access next to the sink so unosha mkono you know soap unapanguza and then uh, lotion but right now we're not using towels this is just for my personal use okay yeah so eh, and then in here um I, this is where i have my toothbrushes don't zoom in too close because i need to replace my toothbrushes don't, don't judge me leave me alone <laughs> so yeah i didn't want it to be so clear that toothbrushes over here so i put um this flower looking type thing so if you're looking over here it just looks like you know a plant flower thingy looking situation so yeah this is uh where now the clear demarcation into the bathroom uh starts from so yeah my mouthwash um face mask Garnier face product yeah toothpaste uh brush cleaner you know the basics and now for now here we have the sink um yeah basic sink i don't like this situation i've yet to figure out what to do about it but yeah i wish we had this sink inside the bathroom you know because now i don't know it just this is what disturbs me about this entire house but and anyway you who can yeah you know you have to pick a struggle you either decide me kitchen i'm an idirisha unata i've seen with these landlords <laughs> If you want a kitchen with the house or a house with a kitchen, I don't know. You'll get it if you live in Kenya. Anyway, so um, yeah. Then I have a full. This is not full length, is it? It's a mirror. Uh, the actual one broke, and then I just put this one inside. I'm gonna get a bigger one, but for now, this is what I use. Um, I'm not. Am I big on mirrors, really? No. Again, I haven't decorated the place. I haven't gotten around to like beautifying the space because if anything this wall color has got to go you know but then again i'm not sure how long i'm gonna live here for <laughs> i love the place then i also hate it because of my agent i don't like my agent i really don't but who knows maybe next year i'll still be here maybe next year i won't be here who knows we'll see okay so now moving into the actual bathroom another DIY that I did just an empty box size so you know towels for decoration sanitary stuff and cleaning products my foot scrub over there those two and then more eucalyptus just basic hair care products and the window pane shower gel you know and the, the other stuff <laughs> shout out to you if you fold your dirty clothes <laughs> i know people who do so yeah that's uh, my other doors that i use for laundry and then so this is the opposite side of what you've already seen uh so yeah there i have my shower glove hi why does it look dirty on camera hi and then that's my shower cup and then that's where i'd hang my godas trust i removed them <laughs> And then here we have the shower, um, the instant shower. So this is just the overview of the entire house. Um, kitchen area to the right when you come in. Then we move into the closet area. This is also the bedroom area. That entire wall is just a bedroom area. The cable and the reflection is me. <laughs> and me um, holding the ring light and just trying to show you guys what it looks like bedroom area again living room area um don't mind the cabling that's me just trying to record this for you bathroom area the actual bathroom living space area yes under the seat i do have some hidden stuff <laughs> for diy under the seat under the bed yeah you try to maximize on storage as much as you can so yeah, thank you for joining me on today's video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. Um, yeah, comment down in the section. Comment in this comment section down below uh, your favorite DIY from this house tour. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. See you on the next one. Remember, um, 
to subscribe <laughs> and i love you but most importantly god loves you bye